Um, randomly thinking today again this is probably why people don't like browsing instagram and shit because i don't really post on my instagram too much or interact with it unless it's like a drunken weekend and i'm fucking you know drunk dming random people on my instagram stories and shit that i just happen to pop on the buy but for the for the most part i don't really i don't really use it but then whenever i am whenever i am using it and i check on it it's always interesting because i've got many people that i follow on there right and many friends from you know different phases of my life and it's always interesting whenever you jump on and you just see someone's Instagram story or Instagram post and it's some big life event that you had no idea had taken place prior to the picture they take they took, right? So you click on it, you realize the girl that you knew is super fat. Something happened between the time that you knew her to now. You realize the guy you knew has now got a kid or this girl that you knew now lives in this place. Do you know what I mean? All this weird stuff happens in between. And today I must have opened the app and I opened it and I popped it popped open a post from some guys that I've known for, you know, a number of years. And they all happen to be celebrating another guy that I know in that group's birthday, right? A kind of monumental somewhere in the 30 range birthday. And I was like, damn, man, damn, didn't even get an invite. And I've got to be honest, I felt a bit of a way. Again, I haven't seen none of these guys in IRL or hung out with them properly. And I'm going to say maybe four years, maybe five I haven't really had a meaningful conversation with them in maybe longer than that. But before that, we were really closer, I would imagine, in terms of a group of friends. But for whatever reason, mostly for my 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 fault, because I, I, I've always said in this podcast, I'm really bad at kind of keeping relationships or cultivating relationships. I tend to kind of just, I tend to be quite transient when it comes to my friendships, right? And relationships in general, when, you know, even romantically. When I'm there, I'm there. When I'm not, I'm not. Um, and then I just pop up randomly and ask you to come out, you know, in the DM. And you're like, who the fuck is this guy? You know what I mean? So I'm that kind of dude, right? And um, yeah, man, I kind of felt a bit away when I saw that post. I'm not going to lie. I kind of felt like, why didn't I get an invite? But then I know if I would have got an invite, I wouldn't have gone. Of course, I couldn't have gone today because I'm sick, right? I'm basically being cooped indoors all week, eating nothing but soup and being tucked into my duvet. But pff, if I was offered to go, I definitely wouldn't have gone. I would have made an excuse or I would have just flaked. So no, I don't usually flake. I usually tell people if I'm not going. I, I'm not usually the guy that doesn't know show. I always say if I'm not going out because I, I, I respect people's time and shit. But I would have done that again. And after a period of time, even if you love somebody and you do enjoy their company and you think they're cool, whatever it may be, there does come a point in time where you must, where every person's going to be like, you know what, enough's enough. I'm fed up of just keeping asking you if you want to come out and I just keep getting met with rejections or you don't turn up and shit. It gets a bit tiring. So I can definitely understand that part of it. But again, you know, maybe it's the selfish, sort of somewhat narcissistic side of me where I still feel like I should have been asked. All right? I should have been asked anyway just so I can say no, <laughs> which is a really messed up way to think about it. But unfortunately, again, this is the one of those unfortunate consequences of getting older, isn't it? Which is why I always tell my younger viewers, especially dudes, man, hold your friends close, especially if you have a small, especially if you're kind of dude who I would, like I was when I was younger, where I was be, I would always kind of be longing for a bigger group of friends. Like I wish I had more friends, wish I had more friends, wish I had more friends without actually looking after the small group of friends that I had right next to me. I'd always be trying to look for the other one because especially when you're in the scene, you're trying to clout chase and shit. You know, things happen, right? You, you look back at yourself, you, you, you get disgusted, you want to bath. But I really have to kind of word, I really have to kind of give advice to my younger listeners out there. Like if you have a small group of friends, cultivate that friendship group, hold them dear, love them dearly, um, respond to their text messages, um, return their phone calls, meet up as often as you can, because it's not, you know, time moves really quickly and moves really slowly. And one minute you could be all like hanging out together, sharing a pizza in a hostel. And the next minute you've not spoken to each other in six years. Do you know what I mean? It could just go so quickly that it can just change in an instant. And it's, and it's pretty impossible to turn it back around, I've found. Yes, you can meet each other again. It's like the old good old days. But in terms of being the same, being in contact with each other all the time, it's never going to be the same again. And it's just really, really unfortunate. Honestly, it really, really is unfortunate because a part of me wishes I still had that friendship group. But unfortunately, my personality in a way that I've made up, I just don't seem to like marry well with like long term relationships or friendships i just don't seem to have it i just don't seem to have the ability to have loads of them i have a couple but i don't have loads do you know what i mean because i just i don't know why i don't know why it's just strange i i, I always think ask myself why that is i don't know why because i have an interesting you know duality in terms of i can be very outgoing but then i could also be a bit of a shutting 
That's why I probably identify with somebody like a dark side feel, right? DSP, the uh, pariah of the internet, right? Somebody who has a, a lot of detractors out there. But I also identify with that idea about like, just like, he just, it's just him, his wife and his cat, nothing else. That's a little bit weird, right? But it's a little bit, you know, there's a little bit of a, there's a little bit of school shooter energy going on there. But I have, I have the similar sort of vibe in that I can just completely shut myself off from society and not have any communication with anybody else outside of my immediate circle of close family and friends, and that's it, which is obviously bad. But then when I'm outside, I can also be the life of the party, right? And try and make friends everywhere, right? And be exchanging, flipping, you know, Instagram handles of people and numbers and shit with people you're never going to call again and just wanting to be a life of the party. You want, to, want, you want everyone to like me sort of vibe, which is strange. I don't know what that's about. Maybe there's a lot of kind of trauma there, some something i don't know who knows who knows what it is but regardless you know i'm a dude what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna suppress all that shit and keep it moving in it that's what guys do you suppress and you move on <laughs> as per usual but yeah i saw that and i was like bummed out so yeah young fans or young fans my young listeners out there if you are um bemoaning the lack of friends that you have i'm sure you have two or three even one friend that is always there for you that's always kind of asking you to go out with them or that always got he's always got your back, all that sort of shit. Stick with that friend. He or she stick with that person. You know what I mean? Um, or if you have a big group of friends, cultivate that friendship group. Check in from time to time, even when it's not about going out, because we do that a lot in the UK. Sometimes you don't like to talk to somebody because you don't want to go out with them to a bar. You don't you don't get offered to go out with a bar. You don't want to go and drink. But sometimes just checking in, a quick phone call. You know what I mean? Fuck it. So I've done that a couple of times. It's been awkward the first couple of times. People are like, what are you calling me for? But just checking in. Hey, man, I hope you're good. It just crossed my mind. I don't want anything. I'm not asking for money. I don't want a favor. I just want to check in and see if you're fine. And people usually appreciate that sort of shit. Um, but again, you got to make this first step in it. And I'm usually not the guy that makes the first step either because I'm a little bit, I've got a little bit of an ego, pride, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, I saw that and I was like, God damn it, man. Why wasn't I invited to this party? But again, I would have probably said no. 